if you have to be working with descriptive statistics and you would like to um, actually I should say a discrete probability distribution and you would like to go ahead and find the mean standard deviation and histogram for that um, discrete probability distribution that's not like a known one just some values you have out there um, you can go ahead and type your data into R studio so we're gonna go ahead and start off with um, I like to use the letter X you can use any letter you want we're gonna name this letter X to be um, the combination of let's say we're looking at the number of the size of a family so there could be two people in the family three four five six and seven um, I like to put spaces after the commas you don't have to it just is something I like to do it just keeps the numbers separated from each other and then I need to type in their probabilities this is probably data that was collected from some data some uh, sample that was collected so 42 percent of the families um, had two people 23 percent of the families had three people 21 percent of the families had four people um, 1% or I'm sorry 10% had 5 people 3% had 6 people and 1% had 7 people actually it was 7 or more but we'll go with 7 and now I've read in both those variables now the other thing I need to do is go over here to packages come down your list of packages and you need to make sure your weighted dot d e s c weighted descriptive dot stats um, Pro, um, package is checked. If this is not checked, then check that box. Um, you also will need up at the top is another one called ARM, and you need to make sure that one's also checked. Notice there's a check mark there, so that means it's installed and it is um, loaded. So it's installed because it's in the list, it's loaded because of the check mark. You'll never have to install anything but you might have to load them on occasion. Now that we've done that, we can actually go ahead and find the mean for this weighted data. So that's just W mean of XP. And if you want to find the standard deviation, it's just weight of S dot SD of XP. And there it is. Now, if you also want to do a histogram, you're going to do a discrete hist um, histogram actually we're going to do the histogram one um, notice that it types it in and this one's really long so I just go ahead and let R finish type that in for me just by hitting making sure I'm on discrete dot histogram and then hitting the tab button and then in the parentheses I'm going to say I want to use X and P and then I need to tell it the what the bar width is going to be because if I don't tell it that actually let me show you what happens if I don't tell it that so let's hit enter and there it is and there's the graph but you notice these bars don't touch each other they're really really narrow so that's because the width is really um, the width is really small so we want to actually change that width so I'm gonna go ahead back into here and type in bar width and I've just found that one works nicely if one doesn't work nicely for you then just try different ones if you'd like to have a title this is not title this is actually main and the main um, title you might want to do is histogram of family size. And I seem to have gotten a problem. This happens sometimes where you think you type in something right and I just didn't spell bar width correctly. So let's go change bar width and spell it correctly. So look through your listing, you'll see it gives you an error and then just make sure you spell everything right. And there it is, and you can see it's a much nicer where the width isn't is a lot wider, and you can see a little bit more what's going on, and you can see your nice histogram. This is very much a skewed right distribution because the small stuff is down here. And there you have it.